So what you can also easily do inside of diagrams.net is insert out tables. So over here, you can see that table is an option right here and you can go around and click on the table option and you can choose around the uh, number of cells that you like, as you can see right here. If I were to, for example, select out cells to three by five, you can see you can also uh, expand this around right here. So I'm just going to go around and select three by seven and the table is inserted as you can see right here. So this is what you have. And over here, you can go around and type in data onto individual cells like, uh, right here. So right now I inserted out a table, but I haven't defined it to um, any of the cell, uh, let's say for example, to be a title cell uh, row right here. In that case, you can go around over here and let's say uh, bring in as a title cell. And then once you do that, you can see that there's a title attached onto the cell as well. You can go around over here and you can see that there's the title uh, right here, just like this, and you can go around and add in other details right here. You can go around over here and you can see you have access to different table uh, modification options that we're going to focus on upcoming videos. So over here, uh, you can also bring in, uh, uh, bring it in as a container, as you can see right here. So this is how it actually pops up. So everything is there as a container, as you can see right here. And all the details are here, just like this. So you can see that you can go around, type that in. You can select out different cells right here. And then a container is added in over there as well. Of course, you can disable the title. Now just enable the container and bring it in as a container table just like this as well. And you can go around and resize out the table according to how you like as well. So that is how you can insert tables and even go around and add in datas to the table right here. So you can see that this is what you have. Let me just press Control Z right here. You can go around and then uh, let's say for example, uh, click right here, delete. You can type in data uh, cells right here just like this. And that is how you can manage it out accordingly. So if I were to go around over here, you can see that I can change out this in size and so forth and all the data are there. So you can go around and press enter to arrange all the text data out over here as well and arrange it according to how you want. But usually on the table cell without a container, you can see everything is aligned onto the center right here, just like this. So that is how you can insert tables and add in data to it inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.